Ready to roll. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, you said Sunday night that um, it looked like Jake Venables had a pretty good hamstring pull. Is, is he going to be out Saturday? He's, he's going to be probably game time decision. Okay. And uh, you will have Nolan Turner back. Um, I, I saw him coaching up uh, Makuba and, and the other safeties uh, on the sideline on Saturday. How valuable has he, he been as kind of an extra coach on the sideline? Oh, man, Nolan's been amazing since since he decided to come back in January. I mean, he's been he's he's been teaching those guys. Uh, that's one of the reasons that Makuba has really done so well. He came in January and, and shows you how smart he is. He 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 went and got to know Nolan Turner quick. And uh, and man, he spent tons of time with Nolan because, um, you know, players can teach each other as much as they want. Um, and uh, man, Makuba couldn't get enough. And Nolan, Nolan has been an incredible uh, asset and teacher uh, for all those guys. But we're super excited to get him back. And, and uh, you know, I know he's excited to go play. And, you know, he hasn't played, you know, a couple of games. He's mentally incredibly sharp, uh, but he missed the scrimmages. And he obviously hadn't played these first couple of weeks. But uh, he's played about 2,300 snaps in his career. So I think it'll come back to him pretty quick. Yeah, Bo, this is Larry Williams. Um, how would you assess sort of where y'all are now and moving forward with the sort of horizontal threat, that Amari-type presence that, that can uh, really make defenses honor that, that part uh, of the offense and, and open things up elsewhere? And we've got – this is best – this is as good a group of, as we've had since I've been here. You know, there's there ain't nothing we don't have, nothing we don't have the ability to do. Uh, uh, we just got to, you know, we've had, we had one game where we didn't play very well and never got any rhythm. Had a game last week where we really did whatever we wanted to do. And so the key is just keep growing, keep getting better, keep improving. And, you know, we're, we're two games, but uh, there's not anything we lack uh, when it comes to uh, our ability to attack people. Uh, not with this group, that's for sure. We just got to go do it. We got to be consistent. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor again. Um, you said you uh, you wanted to see the film and you're excited to see how Trey Williams did. I, he played about the same number of snaps as uh, Brzee and Tyler Davis, had a tackle for loss. Um, how did he grade? Did good. Get, got better. You know, still not uh, quite where uh, Rook and Brzee and Tyler are, but, you know, from a, just a, a uh, precision in, in his execution, but he's – he did just fine, man. This kid's playing for the first time, and uh, he's just going to keep getting better. I mean, just better and better and better. Like I said the other day, there's no greater teacher than experience. And when you have guys like we have, or our team, we got it, our entire team, uh, they love ball. They care. Uh, it's a very coachable team. Uh, and, you know, when you've got that, and, and, and guys that really love to prepare and take a lot of pride in their performance, uh, take ownership in it, then you're going to get better because they're going to learn and they're going to grow uh, through their experience. And you know, Trey's one of those guys. Hey, Coach, Lawton Swan with Clemson Sports Talk. I, I know in the past you guys have taken trips out and seen programs, and certainly you probably had some programs coming in to see what you guys have built. But uh, this past off season, were there any trips, you know, that, that some of your coaching staff went on to to look at any other programs or anything to that nature? Uh, they didn't go anywhere, but we had a lot of a lot of meetings with a lot of different groups. You know, uh, we had some people come in here, and, uh, but as far as we we did not go anywhere. Uh, but you know, nowadays, you don't have to go anywhere to go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> it's right. Pretty none of y'all are here, uh, but I'm talking to you, so uh, you know, we're always. Always, uh, you know, learning from other people and always willing to, to meet with others. And uh, that's, how you, that's how you stay sharp and keep learning, keep growing. Coach, it's Trevor again. Um, Georgia Tech, uh, second fewest penalty yards allowed in the, in the country through two games. Last year, they were 119th. Is, is that a pretty good indicator that of their experience and, and their buy-in to this coaching staff? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, I'm sure that for them and their quality control and self-evaluation, that's probably was one of the number one things is, you know, hey, guys, you got to stop beating yourself. You know, we're, we're 
whatever, whatever you said, hundred and whatever penalties. You know, here's an area we got to improve, and if we can improve in that area, we're going to improve as a team. So I'm sure that was a a, a very uh, clear message and, and emphasis for them, no doubt. Uh, any, any, any good coach is going to evaluate and really uh, attack what you didn't do well, uh, especially you know things that that uh, you know beat you, help help beat yourself. You know, it's hard enough to win, but when you are having to overcome your own uh, just mistakes, uh, it makes it even harder. And so I don't think there's any question. I said that the other day. I mean, you can tell watching on tape that, that you know, they they have, have made a leap forward in, uh, in their execution, their belief, their buy-in, you know, what they're trying to do recruiting-wise. Uh, so I'm sure absolutely they're, they're probably tickled to death after two games that they're light years ahead of where they were last year in that, in that category. Um, because that, that's, that could be the difference in a few wins. Hey coach, it's David Hood. It, this is an older football team, as you've mentioned, you know, one of, one of your older squads, but so young offensively, are you starting to see the progression that you want to see in practice? I mean, comparing, maybe, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week to Tuesday and Wednesday of Georgia. Can, can you tell a difference and that guys are starting to get more comfortable? Oh, yeah, there's no question. Uh, you know, and that's what you want to see, You're just steady improvement. And, you know, we're here at practice every day. And, and uh, man, I, I'm, I'm so pleased with how these guys are competing, how they're working. Uh, last week was a great week of practice. They've come right back to work. Uh, I was just literally just telling the team that uh, after practice. And, and man, that's how it's supposed to look like, like how we practice. That's, that's what great teams, great teams get better. You know, great teams don't play their best football in the beginning of the year. Great teams get better. Um, and that's, that's what, you know, we're doing. We're, we're going to continue to grow through, um, you know, our experience, but man, this team's getting better. And I see it in practice. We had a great, great practice and, and yeah, we're much more of a better and group defensively, but you know, if, if these guys have a practice like they had today, a lot of competitive work, and you hold your own against this defense, uh, man, hopefully that will just continue to grow your confidence, uh, you know, for game day. So uh, really appreciate the focus of these guys, uh, the buy-in. Again, the, the energy uh, has been incredibly consistent. I really don't have to – there's been years I, I, have to, I have to crank it up. Uh, but these guys have been incredibly self-motivated. And, uh, again, I think that's that's a sign of good things to come for this group. Dabo, this is Matt. When, when you see that improvement and talk about it, that improvement, is there any area in particular that, that you've been pleased with? Um, I mean, I know the defense has been great, but just as far as seeing the improvement in the area offensively, you've been in, pleased yeah, with in particular? Execution, you know, just cleaning up mistakes, you know, growing from and learning from mistakes that we've had, not making the same mistakes. Just, just keeping the keeping the improvement going. Uh, and I, you know, I wish we could be the, you know, best version of ourselves today. Uh, and, you know, like, but hopefully, uh, in, I wish I could do that. But that's not how this game works. You know, especially when you got a bunch of guys that are learning. I mean, we got a true sophomore getting his first starts. We got left, a true freshman left guard. Uh, we got you know, some backs that are that are learning to play. Uh, we got a new quarterback. I mean, there's a lot of new things on that offensive side, but incredibly talented and and tough and incredibly uh, proudful in their performance and very self aware of you know where they are and what they got to do to get better. And and they have uh, they have the willingness uh, to do that. So. Uh, just just getting better every day and, and understanding the bigger picture, the details, and uh, being crisper in our execution and, and, and just seeing the confidence grow. That was Larry again. How would you rate Shipley's feel as a zone runner, uh, especially for a freshman? Exceptional. I mean, he's he, he doing that. He can run in any – he can run the counter power zone, inside zone, outside zone. He's got a great feel for for really everything. Really not anything he doesn't have a great feel for uh, at, at this stage. He's going to get better and better, but there's really nothing that, that he doesn't have a good feel for. 
Take one or two more for Coach. Yeah, but this is Matt again. Just talking with him, uh, talking with Marcus Tate, talking with, with Bo Collins, it seems like this freshman class is just really ma mature, maybe the right word. Uh, just, I guess, just what do you think of that group and kind of their makeup, um, not only as football players, but as people? I think it's great to be a, a coach at Clemson. Uh, that's what I think, because last year's freshman class and this year's freshman class, special group of people. Uh, and the mature is the exact word, uh, and that's exactly what we've seen. I mean, you know, Shipley, Moffa, all those, all those kids, all those mid years that came in here. I mean, you, you know, Barrett, Jeremiah, you know, Makuba. I mean, we just have an incredibly mature group of guys. You know, Will Taylor, Marcus, uh, you can go on and on and on. Uh, Brenning Stool, Brenning Stool is going to be a neat, neat tight end for us. Uh, but they just all have a level of maturity that's rare for, you know, 18 year olds. And uh, so it's super exciting. And again, that's, that goes on top of last year's group. And as I've said a couple of times, we really kind of have two freshman groups that are really getting their first college experience. Nobody went to class. Nobody was on campus. Uh, you know, nobody's at games. We played in a bunch of empty stadiums. And so that, but those two groups combined, um, and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be a special, special group as they go through their careers here.